So the way we start with this is the feet, uh, shoulder width to start with. So if you can, your feet straight ahead. If that's uncomfortable, you can have your feet a little bit splayed out, but over time, over uh, weeks, you gradually bring them back in until it's straight. It helps make all the joints in your feet, your ankles, knees, um, sacroiliac joint and your lumbar spine go into neutral as much as possible. So that's what that's for. And the outside of my foot in line with the outside of my shoulder. So that's the, that's the width there. From here, I bend my knees and bend my hip at the same time. So I bend in the hip crease here and bend the knees. Even just a little bit, I'm definitely not doing with straight legs. So if I don't bend in my hip here, I bend the knees and the body sort of starts leaning backwards or the weight translates forward too much, I would need to have this bend here. So it looks like that. It's like I'm sitting on an invisible bar stool here. So I feel my weight going to my legs. That's the main thing. So it's sort of springy legs. And it's springy that I can move here too. That there's up and down motion. There's an opening that happens here. So it's useful to spring a little bit. Just feel the legs are springy. We're not stiff. And from here, imagining like a balloon drawing from towards the back of your head, just pulling upwards just gently. At the same time, your chin just comes in slightly. So the main thing is that we're just not doing this. So I pull up through here and a little bit in through here as if you're jacking up the back of your neck. The lips are closed, but your teeth are unclipped, so you can relax your jaw. And the tongue's on the roof of your mouth. If you say le, le, like in French, le, where your tongue touches, that's the acupuncture point. So that connects energy through the front and back channels. It's quite important in this practice. And it helps stabilize your neck at the same time too. So I've got that position. And bring the arms up to here. So it's about one hand width or distance from your body. And it's like I'm resting my hands on a table. So my arms aren't locked straight, definitely not, but they're not too bent either. So if you go to straight and then just back it off a little bit where the arms just kind of want to hang there, they just want to sit there. We've got that position. And your hands are the width of your hips. And from here, we're just relaxing, relaxing your body. The fingertips and your thumb, it's like you're holding a ball. So both hands are like holding a ball. It's just gentle. So we're not nothing and we're not tense either. Just like you're holding your ball. And there can be a sense of opening it, like you're trying to open this point here. The center of the palm is expanding a little bit. And it can feel like you're wearing your hands as suction cups after a while. And we're just letting the body relax into this position. So we've set the bones in position. And we're letting all the soft tissue, the muscles relax around that. So I'm just feeling my weight in my feet. So I have even weight in the front and back of my feet. I don't have excessive weight in the front or excessive weight in the back. There's 50% weight in the front, 50% weight in the back. And my knees are a little bit open in line with the big toe. So these are some more of the alignments. So as you go through your practice as you're standing here, you can just do a little mental checklist are the weights, the weights in the right place there. The knees are a little bit open, not excessive. It shouldn't cause any pain. I'm holding the ball here, just gentle. Sitting in the hips, sitting in the knees, the legs are relaxed and springy and the spine's vertical. So I'm not like this and I'm definitely not this way. The spine's leaning back, I just want the spine to be vertical. And bring your awareness to your the center of your body, so just below your belly button, but inside your body. So halfway between your lower back and the front of your and your navel. So in the in the pelvis area, the lower abdomen, pelvis area, just bring your awareness inside your body there. 
And you're just letting yourself feel into that area. Really allowing the energy of your body to collect in that spot. Even if it's just an idea to start with. Letting your body be calm, peaceful. Just putting the beginning of a smile on your face. I hardly even see that there's a feeling of a smile. That feeling of a smile that comes from your heart. And you're radiating that energy of that smile down into your belly. There's a feeling of uh, contentedness, happiness. Even if it's a little bit forced to begin. Just sending our smile, our gratitude, our care and love to the body. And to our journey and the courage we've had so far with our journey. And a feeling of pride that we've, we've done our best. Done our best so far. the body can continue to get stronger. And you can finish there or you can keep that part of the practice going. You can actually build it up to 10 minutes you're holding there. It's important to build the energy in this area. It helps the, the kidney energy, which is our fundamental life force, and the uh, stability and strength inside, inside our body. That's what it's aiming to build. And it builds a lot of uh, strength in your legs and um, building that release tension under pressure. Stay relaxed and calm under pressure as well. All the best.